I just got home from the store. And now I don't always go to Whole Foods, but there's one like right around the corner from my new apartment. And every time I've ever been there, I see that they sell pizza dough. As somebody who makes a lot of pizza and thinks that he's pretty good at it, I was just super curious. Like, is this pizza dough actually any good? That's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a little comparison test of my pizza dough versus Whole Foods, and then I'm gonna tell you if it's worthwhile. Okay. So I'm actually hoping that the answer is yes, it is actually good. Uh, I'll probably argue that mine's going to be better regardless of the results, but in a pinch, like, is it actually usable? That's what I want to find out. So this was packed on yesterday, which I think is probably good. I don't really know what their timetable is and how long they expect it to sit out for, but having a dough that's a little bit older is going to be, ooh, Having a dough that's a little bit older, it's gonna be more relaxed and therefore easier to stretch out and work with, and in my opinion, has slightly more ideal qualities. It's a pretty nice dough. Okay, so it costs $3, by the way. This is 640 grams, which is basically uh, like almost one and a half pounds. So for me to make that much pizza dough just in raw ingredients, that's probably like a dollar. So you're talking about $1 versus $3. You know, if it was $10 versus $30, same proportions, you'd be like, wow, $10 is way cheaper. However, one versus three or 150 versus three, it's like the amount of time that it takes me to prep out that dough and planning and all of that stuff. So I'm already feeling like I'm hoping. I am going to also be doing some pizza in my oven and then some pizza in my pizza oven. The pizzas that I like to make are somewhere between 240 and 250 grams based on the size of my pizza oven. The ones that I prepped out last night were 240. I actually think this is really nice. So this is gonna give me like two and a half pizzas for the half pizza. I'm just gonna bake it off as like a little bit of uh, bread or something. I don't know. This dough is really nice and relaxed. I guess it was sitting in my car and then sitting out in my apartment for maybe like a total of 20 to 30 minutes so it's not super cold rolling it into some balls and then I am going to refrigerate it again and you could just make this in one pizza the one that I bake in my oven I'll probably bake on this Kamal which I think is like 14 or 15 inches it's pretty big right all of that dough the 640 grams or whatever wouldn't even come close to fitting on this properly and being stretched out to the right thickness we want to make sure that they're a manageable size we want to also put them up to the test of my dough i want to make them the same size because if they're not the same size they're not going to bake exactly the same all right so we've got some doughs here so far it's really nice we'll just give it like a little glug of oil might be a little bit bigger than a glug uh oil it down so that our pizzas don't stick. Now, I did make pizzas recently. I've been eating way more pizza than anyone probably should, but in general, it's been homemade and like, whatever. It's always a good excuse to eat something that's less healthy to just be like, oh, it's homemade. You know that there's no shit in it, but like how much pizza should you really be eating regardless of who made it, you know? So I actually already have everything prepped out. I've got sauce, I got cheese. We're gonna make pretty simple pizzas because I'm really just testing the dough. I'm not trying to do anything that's like super elaborate or crazy. So we'll probably just just do some like pepperoni or cheese pizzas or whatever. Balls are doughed up. Balls are doughed up. Dough's balled up. We got it covered in here. I'm gonna just pop it in the fridge. If you wanna make your own pizza dough, I have a whole video on that. I'll put it whichever side of the screen I'm supposed to point to. We got our Whole Foods dough. This is my dough from yesterday. So I guess we'll start with the Whole Foods dough. Give it a little bit of flour, both sides. And we can start just pushing it, you know, stretching it out. The dough's stretching out decently well. Should we do one of these just for fun? Whee! Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the ceiling. Let's just stretch out mine now and see how it goes. I guess for my preference, my dough's feeling a little bit better to stretch out personally, but that was gonna be expected, right? Like I consider myself to be someone who's pretty decent at this. I would hope that I would be able to make a pizza dough that's pretty good. It's stretching out really nicely. 
part of the benefit of making my own dough is I know exactly how much time it's been since it's been made and rested and all of that stuff. So there's just a lot more control with this. I'm not exactly sure how long it was intended to be rested for. I don't know how long it's actually been rested for. There's a lot of those variables when it comes to breads and doughs and stuff like that to consider. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to find out if it's any good, right? This is Whole Foods dough. This is my dough. Now we can actually assemble the pizzas. And I'm gonna try to make them as identical as possible. We've got some red sauce here. Like I made this a week ago, but it's probably still good. It's been there in my fridge. People want expiration dates sometimes, and you're just like, I don't know. Put it in the fridge until it doesn't look good, smell good, or taste good anymore. I'm gonna do a combination of fresh mozzarella and shredded mozzarella. Two slices of mozz here. Semi-full handful of cheese. And then another half of a handful. I don't want to under cheese it. We got some mediocre grade cheap pepperonis. <laughs> I am a pizza boy. Pepperoni for me, pepperoni for you. Cool. Balcony pizza time. My balcony is actually a little bit slanted, so it was a little bit harder to cook the pizza super evenly because it was hard to pick it up to turn it. Overall, I'd say it cooked up pretty well. Another one for me, back outside. my pizza in general I'd say these are pretty comparable pizzas but I've got to keep my focus in the right place because the whole point was is it useful like is it work does it work and so far the answer is very much yes part of my goal with ever making cooking videos is to make things feel more approachable like I don't want to make things feel like super complicated making breads takes a lot of practice it takes a lot of work that's not a discouraging thing it's very learnable but going and grabbing this pizza dough and learning how to make fun pizzas and being able to have fun with your family and doing all of that stuff like having a little pizza party and not having to worry about making the dough and how to make it and is the timing right and all of that stuff this is just a more foolproof way to go about it the main reason that i wanted to do this is like hey you can still make pizzas without having to make your own dough i gotta be real with you their dough's really good and i don't really mind being able to say that their pizza dough is good i think it might encourage people to cook more so um, theirs has been sitting out longer, so I have less chance of burning my tongue by eating theirs. Cheers. Super doable. I don't really have much complaints there. Here is mine. Also, cheers. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I'd say that they're really not very far away from each other. As much as I wish that mine was like light years better than theirs, I would say that these are to most people, kind of indistinguishable. I'm kind of looking for certain things, so I would say my dough itself generally has a little bit more flavor to it. Other than that, man, for $3 and zero work, pretty solid option. So I'm gonna clean this up, put it on some other boards and stuff, and then I really wanna try to bake one of their pizzas in just a home oven because the reality is I understand most people don't actually have a portable 900 degree pizza oven, so, that's what I'm gonna do. Pretty good. Obviously it doesn't look anywhere nearly as good as either of the uh, super hot pizza ovens, but I'm gonna cut it up in just a minute and we're gonna find out how, how tasty this is. Whether it's because like the home oven isn't quite hot enough to cook off the moisture or I added more sauce or Maybe I got a more liquidy part of the sauce. This one just a little bit soupier inside. So that's interesting. Just gonna call it out because it's there. It still looks like a good pizza. Crust cooked really nicely. Oh, that's just dripping all over me. That's cool. Cheers. It's pretty good. Lady in the Tramp. The question is, 
Which one of us is Lady and which one of us is the Tramp? I'd be curious to try my home oven again and just try to like make sure that there's way less moisture on the pizza because the only downfall of this one is that the, the, the kind of soupiness level. Other than that, it baked up in about 10 minutes at 525. I turned it a few times because the back of your oven is going to be a little bit hotter than the front of your oven. So just going for that even cook. In general, I'd say, I don't know about any other grocery stores. If you've got other grocery stores that have fresh pizza dough like that or brands, drop them in the comments. But I will say if you go to a Whole Foods and you see fresh pizza dough, it's pretty good. It'll work out just great. Have a little pizza party, have some fun, and just try to learn more about cooking pizza, cooking the sauce, getting the technique down, and then if you wanna make your own dough, by all means, have some fun with it. Anyway, that's been it. I just wanted to do something kind of like fun and quick today, but thank you for watching. Have a great day and go eat some pizza.